we got to be careful here leaving the house right now because uh, I had to log into the hardcore world yesterday and uh, retake screenshots for the thumbnail. But I guess when I uh, took them last week on Monday, I didn't click the right button and we didn't end up taking any screenshots. All right, I think we're good. I don't see any. We need to get six beds, bring them over, and then I think we have a bunch of surface lava like right around us that we can end up going and grabbing just to like upgrade it so we can actually get it running fully right away. But you don't need lava or anything for it, which is super nice. All right, and then it said we have to keep that at least like 16 blocks away from any other villagers. We're gonna have to level some land around here. Just kind of pull this back a little bit and then we'll put the iron farm down in there. All right, get all this ground all leveled off though. And then we should be able to get this iron farm set up like super quick here. We need six beds, three trap doors, two uh, slabs, a ladder, a boat, six torches, and a bucket of water. And this will be Ian XO4's iron farm. Uh, it's called the iron farm on day one of survival. If you guys are interested in looking it up and building it yourself. All right, it's gotta be at least eight blocks away from any lower ground so we might actually have to pull this back a little bit further just give us a little bit more space i mean seven deep that's two six and one more is seven spin the bottom into a three by three all right we need to dig up out of here because i think it's about gonna be nighttime. And then we'll put the trap doors at the top up here to lure the zombie in. Oh, I gotta throw the beds down here too. Bam. Oh, right down in the middle down here. Yeah, that was like my brother got Panzer the German Shepherd when we were in college. And uh <laughs> our landlord told him that he uh he could get a medium to small size dog. And uh he ended up coming home with a German Shepherd coon hound. That dude's like a hundred and some pounds now. Like there's nothing small about this guy. His name is literally Panzer. <laughs> Nine by five. All right. So, wait, one, two, three, nine. God, I need to do the island thing in the middle for now until we get lava. Well, I think there's some surface lava somewhere right around here that we can go grab. And then we need to dig too deep. All right, we got a hoe on us. Yes, we got our water bucket. And then boom, 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 boom. I think I'd pretty much just need to go get the villagers and uh, the zombie, and I think we should be good to go. All right, so we need to grab some villagers in a boat and then bring them on over here. So that way when it turns dusk, they try to sleep in those beds. And then once we get the villagers in, then we just got to get a zombie to go down the trap door and uh, we should be good. Break the bed in your house so they don't go to... Oh, good call. Good call. Got to make sure these houses right here don't have any villagers or beds in them too. And then we need to go find melons or, or pumpkins one of the two. Oh, thank you all right first villager and we're stuck come on let me through the path block for real where's my shovel do i have one no i don't sick all right let's go grab a shovel we just got to get past that one block oh come on all right first villager headed on over we have more villagers that are kind of just wandering around that we can grab Oh, we got one over here. And then we can save the guys that are in the house for when we start setting up like a trading hall, which we probably should do uh, somewhat soon to at least get like mending and fortune and stuff set up. What's up, dude? Just chilling. Let's go, buddy. We can get two of you guys in the first night. That'll be sweet. All right. Coast is clear, baby. Let's go. He does not look too happy. He's like, where are you taking me, sir? Don't worry, you'll be safe. Might be a little, a little scared every now and then, but you'll be safe. Or villagers go to sleep before players can, right? So we can break these a little bit early, hopefully, if they link to these beds. I'll wait just a couple more seconds here, right before dark. Cause I know I can at like 10, 20 something. And it's 10 right now, so let's see. Bam, one, are you gonna go? No, no, you don't wanna go to this bed? All right, well, you can go in. Bam, that's so cool. Will you go into this bed now? Come on, baby, let's go. No, what are you doing? All right, oh, I gotta go to bed. Oh, we got one in. The second guy's being a little difficult, but you know. Can't really play with villagers without it being a little bit of a headache. All right, let's go grab one more and then we'll just break the rest of the beds back over here, I guess. And then he won't have another one to go to. No bed in there. Gonna be a bed in here. Let's break this one. Still got a bed in here. Yeah, he does. Wait, where's the boat? Where's the boat? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. 
Nope. Quit it. All right, you got a job. Now get in my boat. You got a job. Now get in my... Hey, what? Get in the boat. Into the boat. There we go. All right, let's see. Well, he didn't lose his job. Oh, wait. It's not nighttime. What am I doing? It's not night. He's going to try and go to his... Oh, oh. Don't do that. Um, what do we do until night? Oh, uh, let's grab wheat, actually, and feed our cows. And then we do need to go find, like, melons or something somewhere. I don't know if that other village had some or not. So that way we can have, like, a trade to a farmer. So we need to start getting that stuff all set up here soon, too. You can fence them in and flush them with water. Oh, the, the villagers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully they, they just cooperate and go to their beds now that we broke all the other ones. That would be the most convenient way. I also kind of want to end up building like a little silo around this. So that way it's just not like, you know, a bunch of cows in the ground. We can put a build around it. So that'll be a project coming up here soon. And I think it'll match with our little uh, kind of farm theme house going on here. All right, do we get a chicken? I think we're 0 for 4 right now. 0 for 5, dude. What is the odds on the eggs? Come on, it's so close. I just need some iron. So hopefully these two guys just decide to cooperate. What? He looked like he had a big old smile for a second. He's all looking at me sideways. We got one down in there sleeping yet? I guess we can just watch for that. So whenever this guy goes to sleep down here, there we go. All right, first one first. And you're going the wrong direction, sir. All right, attempt number two. And you're also going the wrong direction. Where are you guys going? Where are these beds you're trying to find? Flush him with lava? Oh my God, you're horrible, dude. <laughs> we'll just do this the old fashioned way. Chat over here telling me to flush these guys down into lava. What the hell, dude? Come here, buddy. Just got three high just so if I break those beds, they don't end up like popping up on here. Something weird. He's going to your bed inside. I don't have a bed inside. I took it down, remember? See, no bed in here. All right, now we got to make sure that we don't have creepers hiding in the trees. Hey, God. you're getting pretty good at timing those for first thing in the morning when I walk out of the house, though. I will say that the timing is getting better. <laughs> Down you go, boys. All right. Got villagers in now. So close, baby. We almost have our second farm done. We got the little cow crusher over there. And now we're going to have a nice little iron farm set up here, ready to go. And then we just got to start getting uh, villager stuff, get some trading hall stuff set up. We'll be doing good, dude. All right, finish leveling this off. We'll wait for night, get our zombie in a boat. Or not in a boat, we just have to get a zombie to follow us and then he'll go down into that boat. Because eventually I do want to uh, build like a bridge and stuff that goes over this hill back here and leads us over to that other village too. I think it'd be kind of cool to connect those up or connect these two villages and maybe have like some farms over here and some farms over there or something. And now you're free uh, to roam around and start <laughs> nice punching <chase>. trees. <laughs> Good punching timing on that trees? one. Why, but, why uh, would we punch trees? <laughs> have it connected up and make it look like they're kind of trading back and forth with each other. Like maybe some items are being produced over here and then some get produced over there and we kind of have like a shipping line back and forth. Do I have more torches on me? Yeah, because this does not look lit up down here. It looks kind of sketchy. I got little chicken hole. Ooh, egg six. Do we get a chicken on egg six, guys? All right. Oh, we got two eggs. Six or seven. Nope. And hey, seven. Lucky number seven, baby. I kind of want to save you now. You're gonna wait, wait. Don't run, don't run away. Don't run away, lucky number seven. Can I put a baby chicken in a boat? Yeah. A new high score. <laughs> what go. does high score mean? Let's go. New high score. Is that bad? We got a lucky What's number seven chicken. Should I break it? All right, now we got to figure out something to do here with lucky number seven. Our first chicken that we got from throwing an egg. Create a little lore for the hardcore world here. You got the zombie in already? No, I'm waiting for nighttime right now. That's why we're just uh, kind of trimming the trees back a little bit to uh, minimize creepers coming out from behind the trunks of trees and scaring the shit out of us. You should be able to AFK inside and they'll track the villagers. Oh, you think so? Well, I ain't hiding, dude. I'm going to face the zombie, all right? I ain't scared. God, that'll be a ultimate clip right there if we lose the world trying to get this zombie in the farm. <laughs> All right, boys, the time is coming. The sun is setting and the zombies are about to rise. All right, main thing we don't want to see is Skelly spawn. Wait, options, music and sound, hostile. Okay, we got hostile creature sounds. I wanted to make sure that was a, hey, you leave me alone, sir. I don't want anything to do with you. He's going to track me the whole way too, ain't he? I don't have a shield yet. I need a shield so bad. 
Skellies and hardcore without a shield are no go. And they can see you from so far. Come on, where's the zombies at? Just give me like a zombie right there. I can't go towards the skelly. <laughs> All right, we got witches, we got skeletons. Where's all the actual zombies? We're getting literally everything but a zombie. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Where you at, buddy? Where's all the mobs at, dude? Isn't this supposed to be hardcore? Why is there like three mobs? I don't have a bow to like long range these guys. Come on, where's the zombies at? Go inside and watch them free cam. That seems like cheap though, dude. Oh, hello and Mr. Enchanted Bow. Run over this way. Some of those guys will despawn hopefully. And then when we come back, hopefully there's an actual zombie. Well, we got creepers and stuff up there, so let's stay away from him. All right, now we're going back. Let's see if we got zombies now. Zombie, where are my zombies? Let's get rid of this torch, I guess. Dude, for real, where are all the zombies at? What is going on? Where's all the mobs in general at? There's nothing over out here. Oh, now we got some Oh, zombie, let's go. And we got a spider. All right, let's jump over here. Boom, boom. Nice, two spiders. Give me the string, baby. Oh, I need to open those trap doors. Oh, run. No, my zombie got stuck in the boat, dude. He's in with my chicken. No, don't kill the zombie. Oh, come on, buddy. No. Did he just despawn? My chicken better not despawn. Get back here. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, I got the chicken back. Let's go. I'm going to end up killing myself trying to save my lucky chicken. But he's the lucky chicken, dude. He wouldn't let me die. If he let me die, he wouldn't be a lucky chicken. All right, buddy, you got it. Bam, you're in. Trap doors closed and farm a go. We see the first iron golem spun. We got to see the first iron golem spun. Get out of here. Give me my boat back. They're calling reinforcements, guys. This ain't good. Where's the iron golem spawning at? Come on, baby. Ow. That guy hit hard. Oh, they're actually calling in reinforcements. Watch out for the creepers coming out the trees. We got this. We got this. Wait, why aren't Iron Golem spawning yet? I'm, let me go inside and sleep. <sighs> Stressful night. Stressful night. Whoa, he's standing right there burning. He didn't go down. Why didn't he go down to the boat? Well, I guess we do it on night two. What was that, dude? I seen him go down. I thought he would have went down to the boat right away. All right, let's run over this way so those guys can despawn. And I guess we'll wait for another night and do her all over again. All right, so this time we got to make sure that he actually goes down. Just didn't want to go, I guess. Being a little stubborn zombie. All right, make a shovel, sticks, and what do we do with our cobble? All right, and we'll make two, I guess, just in case this takes more. And we'll just path block this just to be safe. Here, let's put a torch right next to this guy so that way we don't have zombies spawn right here next to him. Come on, nighttime, let's go. First thing we build with our iron, though, is definitely a shield. We need to get that. It's like one thing I've like never used in Minecraft either. So it'll be kind of interesting to learn how to use one. It's only one ingot, dude. Oh, nice. I have one ingot. That I wish the the shields also like. Cause I know you can put the banner patterns and stuff on them. I think it'd be cool if uh like the wood type and stuff you use actually made a difference in like how it looks. Nice. Now we can fight skellies. <laughs> A little practice in and your creeper proof yeah <laughs> i don't know how much i'm gonna test that though <laughs> we gotta go out here and fight again we gotta go out here and live another night fight to see another day all right zombie where you at buddy we got spiders i need zombies achievement time baby achievement time oh i'm too good for you dude I got this shield stuff down already. Let's go. Give me the arrows. We need the arrows. Now where's the zombies at? I'm on. I'm unstoppable now. What? What are you doing in there? No. What are you doing in? Wait. Come on out. Don't knock me in there. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I only need one though. Oh, what is that? Oh, he's got moves. Huh. All right. Let's take care of this extra guy. Make sure there's no nothing sneaking up on us. Dude, did you see that guy's jump? That was nuts. Um, let's see here. Go down. Oh, dude, not cool. Oh my god, that was the worst time you <laughs> done that to me. <gasps> oh, creepers right there. Why don't you go down? Oh, how the hell did he reach me? What the hell? Come this way. Oh, did that do it? Well, he's in there now. Oh yeah, make those paths too. Hey, iron golem, let's go! We did it, boys. 
We got the farm built. Now we just gotta get inside to sleep. Let's go, baby. We have iron, boys. We are moving up in the world. Let's go empty inventory. I was cheering you on. <laughs> yeah, let's go, baby. We finally got it set up. We got more iron sitting there. Hopper, let's go. Double chest, let's go. And then we just need to go find lava. Torch down, chest. Let's go grab ourselves a couple upside our stairs that we can place upside down on there so we can still open the chest and get in and out to grab the iron. And then uh, we'll go find ourselves some lava. Hey, buddy, you're getting too close to what I got going on over here. I'm gonna end up decorating this more than I probably should, but whatever. Oh, wait, wait, we got iron. What am I doing? We got iron. I can make, I can make real tools now. Sticks, let's see. We got iron axes. We can make iron shovels, iron pickaxes. Let's go, dude. Bam, let's go. Iron golem farm set up, ready to go. Now we just need to go find some lava and we can get that thing like fully automated i guess it is fully automated now the lava will just make it go a little bit faster that's a huge world milestone yeah dude the second you get an iron farm it literally changes everything that comes to like redstone and like having to build like any kind of farm I'm trying to think if we've seen any already like just surface lava exposed oh you know what we could do you know it'd be fun let's go grab our horse ruin portal nearby you do i have a ruin portal nearby me I know there was one next to me in on the server. Have I seen one on here yet? Oh yeah, right there. Bam. Duh. I don't know if it had lava at it though. Now that I think about it, it might have uh, just had magma blocks, but we can go check for sure. But yeah, I want an egg. Get the egg. Can we get one on eight? Nope. Spread stuff out gives you a reason to ride horses. Yeah. That's why I kind of wanted to said I wanted to do like the, the two village thing. So maybe like we'll uh, do like the sugar cane farm over at that other village. And then we can go over there to get that kind of stuff and have the iron farm over here and we can kind of go back and forth and end up kind of i want to like maybe kind of set up like little shipping ports and stuff because the other ones the other villages set up like right next to the edge of the ocean and everything my man's just drove past fucking lava oh i did didn't i did i where i seen magma i didn't see lava though where oh i did <laughs> yeah i did <laughs> i drove right by it <laughs> oh that's fucking good Issue with this, they are not loaded and growing if you're not at the village. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. If we, like, at least, like, spread out, like, creeper farm and, like, sugar cane farm at one place, then we can, you know, like, kind of group farms together with the things that they need. Is that the only source, though? Just the one? Oh, I do have dripstone, so I only need the one. Let's just go back, and we'll set up, like, a tiny little collection thing for lava, and then we can set the lava in the farm once we get a second little lava source in a cauldron. Because we can make cauldrons now, baby! All right, grab some dripstone, a cauldron, and then make ourselves like a little uh, renewable fuel source. Dump a little lava in there. Hey, now. Boom, boom, boom. And after we get these initial farms going, dude, it's really gonna start speeding things up here. Where did that iron golem go that was wandering around here? Nothing spawning. He's still around here somewhere or no? We're still not getting iron golem spawning. Something's happened. Is that iron golem down in this hole? Sir, you're you're breaking my farm. You, you realize that, right? He can't get out of here, can he? Uh, I'm scared, dude. Will he one-shot me? If he can jump up a block, will he one-shot me? All right, it doesn't look like he can get up any higher than what he is now. The black and white one is Luna, and the other one is Niffler. I like the name. The name's kind of tight. Niffler, that's unique. Is he, like, named after something, or where'd you guys get the name Niffler? All right, now do we get more golem spawning in here? <clears throat> oh, come on. What's going on here? Why don't I hear a zombie? Dude, is this not working anymore? Did our farm stop working? Let's see, are these guys still like worried? No, I'm confused. Check your zombie. Yeah, I don't think he's in there. I don't know what would have made him despawn though. He's in a boat. Would have been like right here. Dude, where did he go? How? Well, at least it's almost nighttime. We gotta go grab our trap doors again though. All right, do our zombie for the third time. Maybe we'll actually just give him a block this time. And then after we get done getting this last zombie in here, I kind of, I guess we need to finish up doing the hoppers and stuff, but kind of want to take the horse and go on a little trip and try and go find some like pumpkins and melons and stuff that we have them for trading later on. We can get those starting to grow. Is anything going to spawn over here? How far away do I have to be for things to spawn? I guess we should probably get the sword out. That might help too. Just in case we got to get into a little combat. Hey, there we go. Zombie. Dude, 
Why do you... I didn't... You can jump over... All right, don't jump over this time, please. Are you shitting me? And then the one goes in that doesn't have a block in his hand? All right, we'll give him a block. Oh, no. I can't really run. Nothing. Ain't got nothing on me, boy. Oh, he's already got a dirt block. Sick. All right, now let's run away. We'll fight the skelly up here. Oh, no, invisible spider. Not fair. Not fair. Nope. Nope. What? Okay. Oh, the spider's right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Back inside. At least it doesn't hit very hard. Come here. Come here. Spider can't get in. All right, you're dead. Now, where's the spider at? Where'd it go? Oh, it's right there. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, now let's go see if this guy's decided to track down into the boat. There's an iron golem spawning down in there. Okay, we need to not make that three high, I guess, because there's iron down in there and he suffocated. Well, at least we know what's going on now because we've seen the iron down there, so we know that there's a golem spawning down in the farm. Well, you guys are being protected. Oh, never mind. That's why it was three high. So he could jump and place the boat down. All right, I gotta go make a pickaxe real quick. And then, boom, boom. All right, sick. That should be all we need. She should be good to go. All right, but I guess we could uh, maybe jump on the horse real quick. Where's White Shoes at? All right, White Shoes, let's go. We need to go find ourselves some melons or pumpkins somewhere. Okay, can you jump out of here maybe? And I need to make that double wide to get the horses out. Oh, he can like just barely jump over that. All right, let's take White Shoes though. See if we can find ourselves some, you know, pumpkins or melons. See if there's another village or something maybe over this way. Yeah, there's a little beehive right there. We got a savanna over here. Hey, we got pumpkins though. I'll take that. All right, we got one of the things we needed at least. Have I been to a jungle yet in this seed? I don't remember. For, I feel like I have. So I thought I remembered saying we were going to make scaffolding last episode for something, but then I didn't have string to make it. Oh, holy shnikes. Don't fall off the edge. Oh, there's more lava. Do I have buckets on me still? I do. Let's go. Take that out of the inventory. So don't accidentally. Oh, don't knock him off here. Um, is there an easy way for me to get up and down right here? No. Do I have blocks? We got four dirt blocks. Anything in the chest? One block of obsidian, a couple fire charges. Eh, not the best. Perfect. All right, white shoes. Let's get back home. Oh, don't fall on that either. Ooh, is white shoes going to be quick enough to get us back before night? Let's not stop in a hole, please. That's the last thing I need you to do. You got it, buddy. You got it. We're good. Home stretch. So we need to get another fence gate here on the stables. So that way these guys can easily walk in and out. This guy can barely jump over a single fence. Oh, no. I was supposed to stay awake so we could get a zombie. That was the whole reason I wanted it. <laughs> a little late on that one, G-Man. <laughs> oh, well. We have lava. All right, we can set that up. Oh, well, let's set this up. Hey, now, hey, now. <laughs> no creepers, no creepers. Hey, look at that beautiful rainbow, though. Oh, I missed the jump. So gate goes what, right there. And then this guy, we go boom. Nope, don't right on it. We go here. I gotta see where he puts the last one. I think it's on top of the gate. And then we place, okay, open this. Allegedly. Well, um, and that sign on there says it makes that thing invincible, I guess. And lava bucket goes, and then there. I didn't do it right. This needs to be one closer, doesn't it? Step one, place lava. Step two, stand in lava. No. So this needs to be closer. I put this in the wrong spot. And then we go one down. Yeah, I think I had it too high. I used the, the dirt blocks, and I don't think I was supposed to. Bam. Fourth time's a charm. Let's go. All right, we got that all set up. Good to go. Now we just need to wait for nighttime and get our zombie. Imagine Carter making a quad stacked iron farm. Dude, he said he had four of these in like every world that he plays. Throw all this shit in here. String sticks. Oh, let's go, baby. All right, let's jump on white shoes again one more time here. And uh, I have those gates on me still. No, I don't. Let's grab those. And uh, we'll jump over the other way and see if that jungle's over there by chance. And we can find some melons while we wait for it to turn nighttime. And do not let me sleep this time, please. All right, let's head on over this way. I mean, what if you want to build a mansion? Out yeah, I guess if you're doing a build like that or something. Yeah, I guess I just never, I never use iron blocks for building. But I've also been talking about that, how I need to uh, expand my block palette a little bit. 
Nothing like a nice horse ride along the edge of the ocean though, right? All right, so no jungle over here, no melons. Let's see if we can head over this way a little bit and see if we can find some. It's actually like a decent sized cherry biome up there. Most of the ones that I've found so far have been like pretty small for the most part. I've seen some people that have found like massive ones, but I haven't found one yet. Yep, don't sleep for zombie. Thank you. White shoes just got to get us back in time. We could set up, get this guy in here, and then we should finally be done with this iron farm. White shoes has been doing pretty good, though. I'm not going to lie. Navigating the ground. Good job, buddy. Chicken? Chicken? Hey, chicken! Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Oh, no, the wood! Well, rip, rip this night. Can't use wood next to lava. Dude, are you serious? Rip the wood, rip the wood and me. All right, let's get that out of there and let's not fall into this. Go away, lava. All right, so let's change this. Let's go grab some stone or andesite or something, I guess. That's what you get for trying to make things look nice. Over here trying to decorate my farms and make them look nice, not paying attention to the blocks that I'm using. I deserve that one, I deserve it. That was my fault. Lava burns wood two by two by two. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was not thinking at all when I built the farm. I was just like, all right, this is the blocks that we have in our inventory. Let's just, you know, decorate this a little bit so it looks halfway decent. Nope. Bad idea. All right. We should be good now, right? Nothing can, nothing's going to burn now. Lava burns fence gates. It won't burn the fence gate since it has the, the sign above it. That was a, that was a definitely a mechanic he, he said to use because that allows the iron golem to come in. But I guess this makes it to where this won't light on fire because nothing can, this won't burn. And I think the fire has to go on top. But we'll stand here and uh, <laughs> make sure. We need to get a barrel put over here or a chest or something. Start storing our lava. So we should be getting leather built up over there at the cow farm so we can start making lecterns and stuff next episode hopefully and uh start getting some like villagers and everything going your fence gate is gonna burn no it won't i know i'm probably not the most reliable guy to ask about this iron farm according i've lit it on fire three times right now but i don't think it will we got 48 leather let's get a little sugar cane and everything going that way we can have paper and everything to make all our books so we can make the lecterns but we do have bamboo already so we have been to a jungle here and i got jungle trees my fence gate's on fire? No, it's not. Get out of here. <laughs> he said, I predicted the future. <laughs> no, no, no. Aha, saved myself. All right, where's the shield at, though? Where did I put that? Oh, let's grab the shield. I about did it again, dude. We about went to bed. All right, boys, let's get this last zombie and let's get this iron farm finished up. Yep, that one was close. Little, hey, now, come on. It just turned dark. You gotta do that to me? We've been struggling all day on this iron farm. You just want me to go boom? I see how it is, I see how it is. Yeah, boy, we got ranged attacks now. What are you gonna do to me? What are you gonna do about me now? Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. I don't have any more arrows. Ah. All right, buddy, come on over here. All right, creeper, you just mind your business. No, 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 no. Run, don't let him blow up. Come on, baby. Run, run. Well, if you light it on fire, maybe. No, 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 no. Come on. Why do you have to be right next to each other? I just don't want the zombie to punch me into him. Oh, wait. Eat, eat, eat. Fourth one. There we go. Let's go. All right. Come on, zombie. Just, oh, do not look at the Enderman. Oh, that's scary. Skelly, you just keep minding your business over there. Do your own thing. Oh, no. What are you guys doing? Just go in your hole. <laughs> All right, now I got one. Now I got one. Now we just need to line them up with the hole. All right. Don't call reinforcements again, you coward. All right, now don't jump. Just go right down it. All right, now don't jump. Why? What? What is going on here? Why is this zombie smarter than a trapdoor? I've gotten every other zombie to fall down in here. This guy is just, why? He's a track star. We got the track star of zombies in Minecraft. What is going on? I'm about to kill this guy and just get a new one. Dude, this is too much right now. Oh, no, just let me get a zombie in here already. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God, look at him. Oh, there's a baby. I'm done, I'm done. We're going inside, end of this night. I don't care, I'm not doing it. 
I'm not doing it. There's too many mobs right now. Oh, and there's another skelly. Maybe one fell in there. That got way too intense. Oh. Don't shoot my horses. What's the odds one fell in there? <laughs> Let's go. We got a baby down in there. Does that make a difference? Can it be a baby or can it not be a baby zombie? <laughs> Can it not be a baby? Oh, please tell me a baby works. It's the baby zone. Please tell me the baby zone. It doesn't matter. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was going to literally cry if you told me that the baby zombie was like too small. Please show me an iron golem, baby. You've made my life miserable. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, why are you not burning though? Oh, it's because I got path blocks around the edge. I got to fix all that now. Because now they're getting stuck. April Fool's, it has to be an adult. No, I don't. Liar. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's go grab andesite. We just got to fix that outer wall and we should be good. So we path blocked it. We shouldn't have path blocked it. It's what you get for trying to do extra stuff and not just following the tutorial how it's supposed to go. Yeah. Oh, let's go, baby. The farm is officially done. It only took us three hours, boys. <laughs> But we got ourselves a simple iron farm. That did not, you know, take entirely longer than it should have. Well, next episode, we will definitely be able to start setting up some villagers. I think just to start, we'll probably just start, like, with all the guys that are in the houses over here or whatever and just leave them over there for now. And then once we get, like, our enchantments and everything on them, we can actually uh, get a building and everything built for them and move them later on. But I think it'd probably be easier to get all the enchantments, get our stuff, and start getting resources and stuff built up before we go and try and, like, build, like, a massive trading hall. So I think next episode, we are going to be working on villagers starting getting a bunch of our trading and stuff set up over here at the village that we started at and uh we'll be on our next little step to progressing forward to be able to start doing some like actual bigger builds here yep if you guys have made it this far into the episode i would really appreciate if you guys could hit that like button and hit the subscribe as well i would really appreciate it but i think that might end up doing it for me here today but we made it through another one we got our iron farm which is a massive step here in any minecraft world and starting to get that initial early game stuff all done and uh next episode like i said we can start working on villagers and then after that is when we can uh you know start progressing a lot faster let's go iron farm set up fuel source all set up ready to go we're cooking boys we're cooking i hope you guys enjoyed the episode